let us discuss the straight line method the straight line method of computing depreciation if we were to represent as i said before straight line method the depreciation is equal every year suppose we buy a machinery of rupees 1 lakh and it is to be used for 5 years then i could say that the depreciation charge would be say 20000 each year suppose we were to present this graphically where on the x axis i denote the number of years being the life of the asset 4 and 5 1 2 3 4 5 5 and this is the amount y axis the amount of depreciation is going to be 20000 every year 20000 in the first year 20000 second year 20000 third year 20000 fourth year 20000 in the fifth year this is the straight line method of charging depreciation depreciation per annum under the straight line method would be depreciable amount by life of an asset cost of asset minus residual value is nothing but the total depreciable amount as we have discussed before divide by the life of the asset in our example above the cost of the asset was 1 lakh assuming it does, did not have any residual value or residual value is nil divide by 5 you get an amount of 20000 which was expressed graphically in a straight line here so depreciation per annum is nothing but the depreciable amount which is cost minus the residual value divided by the life of the asset it will be same once you've computed depreciation you will there is no further computation required till the end of the life of the asset it is the same what is the rate of depreciation if somebody asks us what is the rate of depreciation rate of depreciation is nothing but the expression of the depreciation in terms of percentage so how do we define the rate of depreciation this is the depreciation per annum divided by the cost of the asset in 200 gives us the rate of depreciation in our example depreciation each year is 20000 Twenty thousand divided by one lakh into hundred gives us twenty percent is the rate of depreciation. Twenty percent charged on the cost of the asset. Charged on the cost of the asset. I repeat, it is charged on the cost of the asset, not the residual value of the asset. So depreciation per annum divided by cost of the asset into hundred is the rate of depreciation. in case the residual value is nil in case the residual value of is nil we could also say that the depreciation rate is nothing but 1 by life of the asset into 100 for example in this example that we had taken it is 1 by life of the asset was 5 years into 100 again gives us 20% but this is relevant only when the residual value is nil because as i said before once a rate of depreciation is computed it is applied on the cost of the asset it is applied on the cost of the asset not not on the depreciable amount which is what is depreciable amount it is cost of the asset minus the scrap value if the scrap value is nil then we can also compute the rate as 1 by life of asset into 100 the reciprocal of the life of the asset expressed as a percentage taking an example under the straight line method suppose the cost of an asset is 50000 the estimated life is 5 years and the residual value is 5000 how do we compute depreciation what was our formula it is depreciable amount which is nothing but cost of asset minus scrap value divided by the life of the asset cost of the asset is 
scrap value is 5000 depreciable amount is 50000 minus 5000 that's 49000 divided by life of the asset 5 40 50000 minus 5000 45000 divided by the life of the asset 5 years giving us rupees 9000 is the annual depreciation so we've got the depreciation amount per year what is the rate of depreciation the example is the same here cost of the asset 50 estimated 50000 estimated life 5 years residual value 5000 now what is the rate of depreciation the same, it's the same example here, but the cost of the asset is 50,000, estimated life is 5 years and the residual value is 5,000. What is the rate of depreciation? We had said it is the depreciation per annum divided by the cost of the asset into 100. What was the depreciation per annum as we had computed before was rupees 9,000. How did we get 9,000? Cost? Minus residual value divided by estimated life. 50,000 minus 5,000, 45,000 divided by 5 giving us 9,000. This was a depreciation per annum. Therefore, depreciation per annum 9,000 divided by cost of the asset 50,000 into 100 rate of depreciation is 18%. The rate of depreciation is 18%. I repeat, it is computed on the cost of the asset, not on 45,000, which is the depreciable amount. Therefore, rate of depreciation 18%, 18% of 50,000, 9,000 is the amount of depreciation each year.